Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us today for this uh, League Exchange webinar with our broadcast partners, Huddle. My name is John Skies. I'm the director of media for TAPS. I am joined today by Brian Bunselmeyer, who is our executive director. He's going to speak in just a second. And Sarah Scroll, who is a uh, administrator at Huddle. Um, I had her title written down and then I minimized my screen, so I don't have it anymore. Um, so Sarah's here. She's going to talk in just a second. Just a couple of things before we jump into this. This webinar is being recorded. If you registered uh, for today's webinar, you're going to get an email later today with a link to that recording. You'll be able to share that with anybody on your campus that needs this information. Uh, anybody who uh, registered but couldn't be here today, they're going to get an email with the same recording, so that's all taken care of. If you have a question, there is a questions feature in the little GoToWebinar interface that you see on your screen. You can type those in. We'll keep an eye on that and answer them as they come up, but they might be held until the end. Uh, where we have a brief Q&A period. Uh, and if you need anything else, or if you get connected, just don't hesitate to contact us at the office. That's info at tapstop.biz. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to Brian for just a second before we give it to Sarah. Thank you, John. Thank you, Sarah, for being here. And thank you for everybody else listening in. It's been a long time since I was in the school setting, but Steve Hula and Steve Perdome have both been using Huddle and using the film exchange for a while, done that, been there, done that. Uh, Huddle is our official league exchange. Uh, I think that's the future coming our way. Load them up, get all yours up. You get to see everybody else's at the same time. I think it takes a lot of the mystery out of what's going on. So, John, I'm going to turn it back over to you, sir. Make sure it works, and away we'll go. If you have questions, please uh, type them in the chat screen. All right. Thank you, Brian. And, Sarah, it's all yours. All right. Thank you much. All right. So, as you mentioned, I am Sarah Scholl. Uh, my role is the Partnerships Analyst and Data between like data and then also exchanges so kind of work around like both club and high school um so i'll kind of get into it as i mentioned we are the league exchange uh platform for you all um so just kind of want to get into what our partnership is with taps and kind of go over this screen real fast here so our product is going to be a one-stop shop that is our end goal for every everything from directors to coaches to athletes to parents and fans uh, all over. Um, today I'm going to really focus on the we value education side of this, um, but I do really want to uh, make sure that I'm hitting on the dedicated customer success managers. We have a great team that focuses on Texas and on TAP, so um, you should, if you don't already know them, probably do. If you need help getting in contact with them, happy to help with that. Uh, my email is sarah.scholl at huddle.com if you ever need to contact me for anything. Otherwise, support at huddle.com can also help you get connected with the correct person. Um, and then there also, I will kind of get into that a little bit more of how you can find some more information on a uh, support team and how they have some great resources available for anybody. All right, we'll get out of this real fast. I'm just going to use one of our demo accounts for this. Um, everybody's is going to look a little different. Um, for anybody that does not currently have a Huddle account, I will also be getting those created this week. So don't be surprised if um, you see that popping up. All right, real quick here, I'm just going to go show you guys how to add your schedule entries. Just because you need to have a schedule entry in your um, schedule to be able to upload to your account. And then we'll kind of walk through how we get into the exchange. So we'll start with that under team. You'll see the schedule option here. We'll go in here. This might see a few pop-ups here and there. I'm going to go ahead and create a new season. You do have to add each season uh, if you have a few to get to the current one. So I'm just going to get this one saved. Maybe the computer's a little slow today. And then if we wanted to keep adding them, we could. I'm just going to use the 21-22 season for right now. This little panel. And I'm going to, typically you're going to see this add event in the top right corner for, if you have events, let's see if there's any existing. You'll see that that add event is going to be up there. So we'll add one quickly. Move the panel again real fast. And then, most likely you're going to use the game type or the event type as game and then regular season you can also do postseason for once you get to that point you can do the location as home away or neutral and then 
you'll type in your opponent. If you see that drop down, you'll want to uh, find the person that you're actually playing. It actually really helps if you have a huddle focus camera. We do have the focus exchange network, so it'll automatically send your video over to the uh, home, away team, or if you're the away team, you'll get the home team's video from their focus camera. Again, you both have to have the focus exchange network for that to work, but you will be able to see this in your library. All right, we'll just say we're playing Huddle U, and we'll say we're playing them on October 1st of this year at 7 p.m. Go ahead and click Save, and then you'll see if, since this is an actual team, it has a, um, a logo right here. We'll say it's October 1st. I already know it's going to get rained out. We're just going to push this back to October 10th. So just clicking on the event and updating it will update that for you. You'll just want to click Save for that. If you ever need to delete because something got canceled, you can always find that here. It will tell you if there's any events or film attached to it. So you'll want to make sure you move those prior to deleting. Otherwise, you'll need to contact our support team to find those film. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And we're going to upload to this account. You can include audio if you'd like to. Just click that box. If not, just keep that unmarked. You can drag and drop all your files. Otherwise, you'll just select files. I'm just going to find some downloads that I've had of different games. And we'll just say these are my uh, first, second, third, fourth quarters. So it's attached to a schedule event already. You'll see that information here, and it'll automatically name that playlist. And then you'll just click Save. And you can also edit who it's shared with. Right now, I'm using Catherine Chapman's account, so I'm the owner. But then I can also share it with certain people, so it shows up on their account. So I can do all team, athletes, coaches. Those are just the ones that we have on this account. I'm going to go ahead and just cancel this. So then it doesn't get fully uploaded. But again, that upload button's in that top right corner. Then we'll, kind of, we'll go over to show you the new huddle library. If anybody's not been on it, it looks like this. It's a pretty cool area to kind of get into. And then if you have any stats related to it, if you use huddle assist, this is a really great way to go through your tendencies and everything like that. I don't believe I have very many films with data on them in here, but you can choose more than one. I'll just say, go ahead and click play. This one does. So you can see, you can break it down by ODK, down, distance, and so on and so forth, and see those reports live pretty much. I'm going to get out of here. From here, you typically would be able to find the full option from here. Uh, unfortunately, with the new huddle, we've not quite gotten that added. So you will either need to press this like home, any of these other buttons, and then we'll be able to be able to see the pool drop down from right here. So this is going to be your page. It's going to be very similar to this, uh, differently commissioner name, different team names, obviously on this left side. So to add film, you're just going to add film right here. We're going to go back to this path a few seasons ago, just because I know they have uh, some data here. So we'll say this. If you do have more than one angle, you will be able to select that right here. And then you can also select breakdown data. Typically, I just see that distance down and ODK being selected here. So that's why those are the first three that pop up. And then if there's anything else that you really want to add, you can if you do break it down. When I click next, you'll see it'll make sure that it's confirming what you want. And if you decide that you want to go back and change something, you can. No big deal. And then once you add the video, you'll see this is now green up top. You'll still have those, that lead commissioner right there. If you click on the name, it will take you to send an email to that person. And then you can see this week I've uploaded this game. ODK is 100% done. Down distance are that percent done as well. 
If for some reason I have more film to add, I can always add more right here. And then you can also see this season right here. So it'll just show the most recent uploads. This one only has one other upload from this team. So that's why that's the only one that shows up there. Um, as you can see, this kind of changed right here. The green little camera indicates that you've uploaded film. The, the little circle with X through it, that means no film has been added. We'll look and see here. Uh, I gotta move the panel again, one second. Okay, this season for the Huddle U team, you can see all their film right here. This one had multiple things to it. Take a look there. And then if I wanna add it to my library, we'll say we want Wahoo versus Wayne playing them next week. So we wanna make sure this is added as opponent scout. I can choose who this is uh, shared with. So I can share it with myself here and then I can just click add this video. And now it'll be in my library. If we go to new huddle, we'll now be able to find that here. Again, we'll kind of go back into this here just to have another look around. You can do that with all of these teams then and find all of them. You can add it to your library. And yeah, if you ever delete it and then are like, oh, I want this back, you will see this add again and you'll go through those same steps again. So that is gonna be that. I'm just gonna briefly go over for anybody that's new to Huddle, how to add members to like other coaches to your team. Real quick, this team has a lot of members. Um, if we just look at the coaches, there's only 11. We're just gonna say, I'm gonna add myself again and just click that add members in that top left. We'll enter manually is gonna be the easiest option for one or two people. And I'll just say, I'm adding me. And then to be able to access uh, the exchange, you do have to be listed as an admin. So you wanna make sure they are listed as that. If you just want them to be able to access film and have a couple other abilities more than an athlete, then you'll wanna make sure they're listed as a coach. And then you just click the save and add another because my email's already on here, I can't do that, but that's how that looks. And for anybody with teams that, or new teams that you're actually on Huddle and it's not gonna be one of the just exchange only basic accounts, that will provide you will you can import your roster as well um, for your athletes you just need their first name last name and email address they can use you can also use this team code option and just share that team code give them the registration link and then you will see an option to accept um, athletes here in that top corner and then I think let me check here. I think those are really going to be the key ones. Yeah. There's also still the Huddle Classic. This will be eventually going away. Um, there's no set time on that, but we are slowly, as we continue to develop the new Huddle, this is, um, it's going to be replacing this essentially. If you ever need to manage your library, you can just see that there. Break it down by what you have and kind of see what's going there. That's just a quick thing. And then for support resources, I'm gonna come to this page. It's huddle.com backslash support. So it's an easy uh, one to remember. And then for huddle and exchange stuff, you'll wanna make sure you're clicking huddle classic here. And then you can find all the tutorials for American football here. There's the huddle academy. They just revamped this, so it should be pretty good and then videos if that's more your thing. And then there's also online classes. Again, there's that team man management, get video online, your new huddle if you're looking in more into that. Um, and then it kind of goes into further things as well, including huddle for athletes if your athletes are looking for more information too. All right, one last thing that I really wanna go over today is it's gonna be this page. 
uh, we'll make sure you guys have this. I believe you can also get it from using, let me go back to this page. In this bottom right corner, you can usually find anything you want. You can contact support that way. It's a great way to get some questions answered. Um, this form should be able to also be found there. If you ever upload the wrong film, that's totally okay. We can definitely get that deleted as well. You'll just want to make sure you use the email that you use to log into Huddle, put your school, your team, and make sure you specify that uh, men's football, preferably varsity as well. If you want to put your entire team name that's up here, that would be great. Just makes it easier for the team to get that removed. And then you'll want to put your exchange pool name here. So just put tabs, but it'll be by class as well. And you'll want to make sure you use this leak pool option. And then you'll click next. And then you kind of see what the request options are. Uh, most of these are not going to be applicable for you guys, but um, you can use this remove uploaded video, um, the wrong video uploaded essentially or if you have any other questions or concerns or requests within that, that's always an easy option as well. You'll just put the date of it, um, just to make sure we have the upload information. It's all we ask for you, it's pretty straightforward from there. And then should get removed within, we say 24 hour response times, but um, we typically get that done in much, much less. Uh, we have a really great group of folks that check that 24 seven when we get requests coming in. So. Any questions? Kind of go back to this to the Q and A, but that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. If you have any questions, um, we should be able to get you guys more information on your Huddle sales reps if you're more interested in that or want an actual demo of some of the other products. We can definitely get you uh, connected with them. Just please let us know. Um, again, there's always support at huddle.com if you have any specific questions or concerns on how to do things or if there's any product issues, you can always go to them. If there's anything with the pool, feel free to let me know if you have any further questions. Okay, thank you, Sarah. And thank you folks for being here. Again, if we didn't uh, answer any questions that you've had today, please contact us at the TAPS office or at Huddle. Uh, they can answer your technical questions. We can answer your other questions. Uh, and with that, I'm going to close it out. Folks, uh, enjoy the rest of your day.